Welcome to another episode of Agro on TV from the stables of Agro Nigeria. Today we are on the streets of Lagos to ask Nigerians how food palliatives can alleviate hunger and what other methods the government can deploy. I am Oluwashin Mohammed. Or oh, poverty, rather. First of all, what is poverty? Giving of food, palliatives has nothing to do with poverty. The point is that you only work on the economy, like feeding aspects, pharmacies, and every other thing. So, palliative has nothing to do with the uh, issue of a uh, solution to poverty. So, that's that on that. No peace in this country. Let them, let them, let them amend our country to be as we did before. She understand. At least. Make the, let all the food assets come down. Mm -hmm. Then, fuel, crazy, uh, gas, let everything come down as normal. Show sure that sound. So that. Uh, I don't know, but for me. I think so. I don't think so. No, that's my answer. Well, what causes hunger? I think, I think, should I say cost of living, right? So it's not about hunger or stuff. It's just the cost of living is too, should I say, too expensive for some people. So, and I don't know. I really don't know how to, how to put it in English, but they should just try and look. I, I don't know. They are in a position where, like, I don't know. It's nothing will affect them. No matter the prices, no matter how they increase everything, it will affect them. But it's just like you should just should I say put yourself in uh, our shoes. Yes, our shoes. We that we know we don't afford more like you know. And should I say and they should just they should be able to provide more more employment. Yeah, yeah, right. For for the less privileged, those that didn't go to look that were they were like us like this that we didn't go to school. That we, you know, they should just be able to provide more and try to help help in a substantial way. So I don't. That's just that's what I think, that's all.